In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, 15th, 15th day of February. I would have said that it is mid-month. Mid-month was yesterday. <laughs> so today it is 15th Wednesday. And today I want, uh, oh, before I tell you something, how was your Valentine's? Did you receive a gift? How many of you sent me a gift here as your priest? How many of you? At least you saw the gift I was given by my producer, a gift that was neither here nor there. So <laughs> I hoped that you would do something, but it's okay. Uh, God is with me. Jesus is my gift. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it was well. Uh, uh, let Jesus be your Valentine. Uh, if you have to need one, Jesus must be your Valentine. I told you that, be your Valentine. Today I have added, be your Valentine, but make Jesus your Valentine. You'll never want somebody to treat you, even when they are not there. Good. Four things to never forget. Four things to never forget as a person, not as a Christian. As a person, four things to never forget. Number one, if you want to feel good, do good to others. If you want to feel good, do good to others. And on these, four things stand. One, watch your language. Two, respect boundaries. Three, respect their opinions. And number four, respect their properties. Number two, if you want to be happy, do good to yourself. Uh -huh. As we said yesterday, give yourself a gift. Take yourself out. Treat yourself. Buy for you a pair of shoes and you buy me one. <laughs> buy yourself a nice suit. Buy yourself a nice outfit. Buy yourself a nice necklace. Buy yourself a nice watch. Do something good to yourself. When you are counting the many gifts you have received from others, always count the gifts you gave to yourself. I have one tradition that I formed the day I was ordained. Every day I celebrate my anniversary, I buy myself a gift, even if it is a pen worth 50 shillings. But I buy myself a gift. In fact, I will always show the gifts I have received from people and the gifts I have received from myself. And I, I give myself some gifts. So, if you want to be happy, do good to yourself. Please Never forget yourself. There are people who are so good. And they are so good so much so that they even forget themselves. Please, do good to yourself. On these, five things stand. Number one, avoid negative thinking. Number two, avoid unnecessary baggage. Mizigo abayo haina jia. Father CK calls them useless baggages. Number three, I mean, avoid any useless baggage. Avoid any useless baggage. Number three, revenge. Revenge is such a negative antidote that uh, only comes to destroy you. It's like poison you give to yourself. Number four, unforgiveness. And forgiveness is such a bad way of treating yourself. And number five, take care of what you read, what you watch, and what you listen to. So, if you want to be happy, do good to yourself. Number three, if you want to live long, live right. Mm -hmm. If you want to live long, live right. And on this, five things stand. Number one, eat right. I did not say you eat well. I said eat right. There is a difference between eating well and eating right. Number two, sleep well. Sleeping well, I know each one of you now knows how many hours you should sleep. 
please do, please reap, please reap. And on this, I say with a lot of passion, because there is one time, some years back, I almost um, broke down. Because I was working so hard, and I was not sleeping. And at some point, my body could not take it. And since then, which is a number of years um, uh, ago, I have learned the value of sleeping. Even if you are working so hard, please sleep. The work that you are doing, I can assure you today, as your priest and servant, can be done by somebody else. Never think that you are irreplaceable. You die, and before you are buried, your job has someone who is doing it. Please, 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 sleep, sleep, work and sleep. Please work. Do not forget to sleep. Do exercises, number three. Do exercises, simple ones. Don't have to, you don't have to own a gym. You can do simple ones. You can just do some press-ups. You can do rope jumps. You can do stretches. You can do something. Do something. Just do something. Dress right. Dress right. I preach to students, and I tell them that um, uh, I, it is good for a young person to be intentionally neat. Intentionally. I know you may have heard some years back when we were talking about my dress, my choice. And we were able to debunk that myth because it is a myth. There is nobody in this world who has a right to dress the way they want because dress code is decided by so many things. By now, I know we have been able to get out of, out of that negative philosophy that uh, there is something called my dress, my choice. Nothing like that in this world. And finally, finally on this, avoid drugs and alcohol. Avoid drugs and alcohol. If you want to live long, live right. Finally, number four, if you want to go to heaven, leave the Beatitudes. Mm -hmm. Leave the Beatitudes. Leaving the Beatitudes means five things. One, follow the saints, the life of the saints. Number two, leave the Christian virtues. Number three, share your faith, share your faith. Number four, be a living gospel. And number five, be a silent homily. Don't I love the last two? Thank you. 15th day of February, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2023, I bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.